All right, I'm gonna start this video off with a cool field of view trick. All right, now that that's out of the way, my competition yesterday. You know, a lot of stuff happens at these Rubik's Cube competitions, and even though I have my camera with me the whole time, I'm not recording everything. So there's a lot that happens that I don't record. So instead, I'm just gonna talk about some of those things today. First of all, we discovered the name of a cube. For example, here, this is a mini Waylong. Might call it just a Waylong. The name of this cube is Waylong. Now, this cube, on the other hand, this is the Volk. Now, you'll notice that the logo actually says the Volk. So what's the name of this cube? It's not just Volk, it's the Volk. So if you wanted to say, I ordered a whole bunch of these, you'd have to say, I ordered a bunch of the Volks. Hey man, can I borrow your the Volk? Yeah man, I just set up my the Volk earlier and it's so great. So yeah, now you know, we discovered that at the competition yesterday that it's actually called the Volk, so if you wanna to refer to it, make sure you say the Volk, not just Volk. I'm sorry, I've been saying that wrong for all this time. Speaking of the Volks, it seemed like everyone at the competition was using a the Volk as their main cube. If you looked at what anyone was solving with, there was like a 50% chance that someone was using a the Volk. It was just crazy. There were the Volks everywhere. It seems like at this point, everyone basically already has decided that the Volks are pretty good. I don't even know if I'm going to make a review of the Volk for my main channel, because it seems like everybody already has one. Henry borrowed my the Volk for some of his solves, and he did pretty well in those solves. Isaac Langer got a sub-9 average using a the Volk that he bought like 20 minutes before he competed with it. It's just a really solid cube overall. Another thing that happened at the competition was Nathan Soria thought that slope equals run over ride. We made fun of him for that quite a bit. It was great. And there's a lot of other stuff that happened. If I think of any of it that I didn't show in the vlog, I'll be sure to tell you about it. But otherwise, uh, let's move on. All right. Hey, guys, it's much later. How much later is it? Well, I'll give you a hint. Tomorrow's vlog starts in less than 10 minutes. I guess I'll end the day by telling you about one more thing that happened yesterday at the competition. I don't know if you could tell in my video. Like, you, you saw that... Kevin Hayes was being given some rather interesting cube covers. Basically, what the Scramblers were doing was they were just messing with him, trying to give him, like, the craziest cube covers they could. So first they gave him a normal one, then they gave him one built out of Speed Cube Shop business cards, then they gave him a taller one built out of Speed Cube Shop business cards, it was like two feet tall. Then they gave him a popcorn container, and they were considering emptying out a trash can and using that, but the delegate decided that would be going a little bit too far. <laughs> but yeah, we, we still have that uh, two foot long speed cube shop thing, so considering using it at future competitions. I think we also have the popcorn bucket. If Kevin Hayes ever comes back in town, we know what to do. Anyway, that's about it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.